But first, Donald Trump looks like a man on a mission at the moment. He's holding rallies and conducting interviews despite facing those criminal charges. And that's where I started with Kristen Tate. Yes, he was recently with Brett Bayer and um, he was really on point during that interview. He was staying focused on the topics that people really care about. And I think that's top shelf Trump. People want to hear about the issues that impact their lives. Just have a look at him here because uh, this is his agenda and there's no doubt it'll resonate. We have to straighten out the economy. We're going to do that through inflation. We have to straighten out our border where we have millions of people pouring in. And we're going to do that very quickly. I had the safest border in the history of our country, and now we have the most unsafe, I think, anywhere in the world. There's never been anything like it. Get the woke out of our military. And uh, basically, respect all over the world. We don't have it anymore. Christian, he's got form on this stuff. And as I said, that's going to resonate, surely. Yes, this is top shelf Trump. If he stays focused on the issues that American voters care about, he could recreate 2016. Let's not forget, he won in 2016 by, by being laser focused on issues, especially immigration, that nobody else was talking about at the time. Uh, and then in 2020, he was really more focused on himself and the fact that the media was being really unfair to him. Uh, so, you know, if the election is focused on the issues, Trump could win if the election is focused on personality and the indictment and all of these other circus issues, then I fear Trump loses and Biden wins. Yeah, talking of the indictment of the classified documents issue, uh, let's have a look at Donald Trump explaining this. He's effectively saying he would have been happy to hand all the documents back if they'd just given him more time to sort it all out. And I was very busy, as you've sort of seen. These boxes were interspersed with all sorts of things, uh, golf shirts, clothing, pants, shoes. There were many things. Everything was declassified. Yeah, look, there's, it's a bit more complicated than that, as you know, Kristen, in terms of uh, alleged deception and the like. But surely that's the way this should, should have been sorted out, rather than police raids and indictments. Just get down there, sort through the documents, take however much time it needed, get the documents secured, and don't have a former president and a potential presidential running uh, candidate uh, facing this criminal charge. Yes, it's so corrupt and it's opened a lot of people's eyes to, to just how true it is that that saying that we have a two-tiered justice system. I mean, that really is true. Um, however, I, I think when it comes to this indictment, Trump should not let the media suck him into too many conversations about this uh, because the narrative is so important in this election. And I, in my view, when it comes to the indictment and issues of personality with Trump, it's all baked in. Everyone in this country, doesn't matter where in the country you go, has an opinion about Trump. That opinion is not likely to change when it comes to his personality, when it comes to the indictments. And that's what the media wants to make the entire election about, is the indictments, and Trump is so bombastic, because they know if this becomes an election about the economy, about the southern border, about social issues like transgenderism in schools, then Biden will lose in a landslide, because this administration has been a failure on every single issue. So the Democrats and the media, their only hope is to make this election, like the last one, an indictment on Trump's personality, and then, of course, these ridiculous uh, indictments and criminal charges. I think you're right to say that no one's going to change their mind on Donald Trump. Everybody's made up their mind one way or the other over the past few years. But last week, we talked about whether minds were being changed when it comes to Joe Biden, because he He's getting increasingly doddery. Have a look at this latest clip where he's basically dragged across a stage because he doesn't know what to do or where to go. Kristen, he's also made a promise to get something done by 2020, by, by three years ago, and he's uh, said, long live the Queen. I mean, surely the Democrats are getting worried. Yes, they are. And I've been hearing whispers uh, about how worried they are getting from my friends uh, in media and in politics who are very far to the left. So the Democrats and insiders, they are, they are increasingly worried about this. And, and if he's this bad now, 
how bad is he going to be four or six years from now? I mean, it's really it's really scary to think about. This is a man who walks around mouthing words that were written for him and then daughters off stage while everyone around him is just praying that he doesn't fall and break a hip. It's terrifying. I will say this though, Chris, I think there's a real opportunity for other candidates to jump in this race and challenge him from the left. If you look at polls right now, RFK Jr. is actually surging in the polls just because Biden is so terrible. I mean, RFK Jr., he's he's kind of a crazy nut, and even he is, <laughs> is seeming better than Biden to people. Look at Gavin Newsom. I mean, he could do very well if he challenges Biden. In fact, I just saw him on Fox News uh, do an interview with Sean Hannity. He was very presentable. Of course, he's handsome and eloquent. He's a far rabid leftist, and he would make this country much worse than it is today. But I think just outwardly, he has that appeal that makes a lot of voters feel very comfortable. So. Biden should probably be worried about challenges from the left at this point. Yeah, it's hard to believe there wouldn't be a lot of people, uh, senior people in the Democratic Party who'd be looking to push Gavin Newsom into nominating because, as you say, he would be a much more formidable candidate uh, for the Democrats than old Sleepy Joe.